Welcome to Common Prayer Daily, your guided meditation through scripture and prayer. This is a liturgy for the eighth Monday after Pentecost. Let's pray. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and blessed be his kingdom now and forever. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship Christ among us, our King and our God. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. Open my lips, O Lord, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me the joy of your saving help again, and sustain me with your bountiful spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. Psalm 8 O Lord, our Governor, how exalted is your name in all the world! Out of the mouths of infants and children, your majesty is praised above the heavens. You have set up a stronghold against your adversaries to quell the enemy and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the works of your fingers, the moon and the stars you have set in their courses, what is man that you should be mindful of him, the son of man that you should seek him out? You have made him but little lower than angels. You adorn him with glory and honor. You give him mastery over the works of your hands. You put all things under his feet. All sheep and oxen, even the wild beast of the field, the birds of the air, the fish of the sea, and whatsoever walks in the paths of the sea. O Lord, our governor, how exalted is your name in all the world. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of 1 Corinthians, beginning with the ninth chapter, the 13th verse. Do you not know that those who are employed in the temple service get their food from the temple, and those who serve at the altar share in the sacrificial offerings? In the same way, the Lord commanded that those who proclaim the gospel should get their living by the gospel. But I have made no use of any of these rights, nor am I writing these things to secure any such provision. For I would rather die than have anyone deprive me of my ground for boasting. For if I preach the gospel... That gives me no ground for boasting, for necessity is laid upon me. Woe to me if I do not preach the gospel. For if I do this of my own will, I have a reward. But if not of my own will, I am still entrusted with a stewardship. What then is my reward? That in my preaching I may present the gospel free of charge, so as not to make full use of my right in the gospel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew, beginning with the 16th chapter, the first verse. And the Pharisees and Sadducees came, and to test him they asked him to show them a sign from heaven. He answered them, When it is evening, you say, it will be fair weather, for the sky is red, and in the morning it will be stormy today, for the sky is red and threatening. You know how to interpret the appearance of the sky but you cannot interpret the signs of the times. An evil and adulterous generation seeks for a sign, but no sign will be given to it except the sign of Jonah. So he left them and departed. When the disciples reached the other side, they had forgotten to bring any bread. Jesus said to them, Watch and beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and Sadducees. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. 
He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. In God's presence, think through the day ahead, the work you will do, the people you will encounter, the dangers or uncertainties you face, the possibilities for joy and acts of kindness, any particular resolutions you need to renew. Consider what might draw you from the love of God and neighbor, the opportunities you will have to know and serve God and to grow in virtue. Remember those closest to you and all for whom you have agreed to pray. Ask God's blessings, guidance, and strength in all that lies before you. Gather up these thoughts and reflections in the words that our Savior taught us to say. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O God, you have taught us to keep all your commandments by loving you and our neighbor. Grant us the grace of your Holy Spirit that we may be devoted to you with our whole heart and united to one another with pure affection. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Lord God, Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised to your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. God, be gracious to us and bless us and shine your countenance upon us and have mercy on us. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. The Father is my hope, the Son my refuge, the Holy Spirit my protection. All Holy Trinity, glory to you. Amen. Thank you for joining me today for another prayer. As always, I will encourage you to visit our website, commonprayerdaily.com, where you can access our liturgy and more resources. And if you'd like to support this podcast and all of its endeavors to grow and to advance the gospel through the good news of Jesus Christ and through liturgies that bring us into prayer, you can do so by visiting patreon.com slash commonprayerdaily. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. We'll see you next time.